So, hello and welcome to Cube VR. I see that the deals are starting to take over. They can use the stairs. That's scary. <laughs> so, it's been a month since I last played in the world. Let's see what happened. I know that Talsma did a little bit of work for my feed well. And I still want to see what the others did. And I just l really love to walk this way. Maybe I should replace all of the um, dark wood with um, this stony pathway. I really like the stony pathway because we got this little moss here. It's it's a really awesome block. I really love this one. So it shows that I'm alive. That's good. You should be able to hear me. Uh, test, test. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, I used the stony pathway all the way. Maybe I was just too lazy. <laughs> I mean, it took me a while to get this far. And I think this was made with cube painter. I'm not sure. Any geckos? Uh, no. Hmm. A lot of monitor lizards. Hmm. Maybe we will spot a gecko somewhere. Maybe I should try to get one to our starting point making a good little morning D good morning stone break how are you how was your day I hope not as cold as it was here it became really nice 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 I hope it doesn't start to rain that's really good. Talsma did a good job here. That's nice. Nice, 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 nice. This is just beautiful. Oh, the rooftop is really nice. I have to inspect this. That's a great idea. Can I just jump out of the window? I can. Whee! Oh yes, that's a really good idea. I didn't know that I had this block. But that's a good idea. I really like this. Hmm. That's fantastic. I should use this for my houses as well. I mean, this is this is just awesome. Great job. I like when it's cold, D. I also like it when it's cold, but I usually don't like it when the cold is this um, humid or this um, yeah humid. So uh, a humid cold is just disgusting because it crawls under your skin if it's a dry cold then it's just freezing and that's fine but if the humidity is above 70 percent and it's cold then it doesn't feel nice this also looks still really good 
can't wait to see this completed. So I'm not sure if anyone else did something here. Let's see. We still have those unfinished tubes, some crystals. One of my co-workers actually drove to the Baltic Sea this weekend because he has a finger up there. And this weekend he has like zero degrees Celsius at night and five degrees at daytime. And for next week they prognosed Hello. 18 degrees. So he really had a really bad timing. Hello there, Yuji. My chat is a bit strange. Come here. So. Okay, that's better. Zack. Yes, that's better. Now I can. I, before I had to uh, twist my arm a bit too much. I am lazy. I don't want to use my arms. <laughs> Not really convincing when the guy who is playing VR is saying this. I mean, I noticed that a lot of PlayStation VR players are playing seated. Or maybe it's just that now that I see more PlayStation VR 2 players stream that I notice that a lot of people actually play seated. I like to play standing. Because that's <laughs> the best way to experience VR. In my opinion. It's really nice that someone made all this water. <laughs> uh. This looks like an entrance. Oh. That's nothing. Hmm. But it looked really promising. Oh, I have a full inventory, it seems. Oh. Oh. I don't think that goes anywhere. Okay. Come here. So. No geckos so far. Where are all the geckos? Hmm. Now that all the geckos go. No gecko sofa, then they can't sit. Don't make me laugh. Earlier someone used stones to take off. Here someone used processed wood to take off. I'm pretty sure a bit further we will see some sand for takeoff. <sighs> Whoever is this lazy guy is flying around should be banned. <laughs> Oh, I was wondering why this, the music was so quiet. My um, earphones were not over my ears. That's why I didn't hear anything. 
Okay. So when I started this world, I fell down from just up there. I should try to get up to the bridge. Just going to teleport. The good thing if you have long arms, teleportation is easy. <laughs> so, let's see. So, Talsma did this place for me, which is really nice. So, yeah, I had the same idea that we could add some pillars. Why did it crash? Uh, I can't read this. Oops. Hmm. Interesting. Last time I streamed, I also got like three or four crashes. Hmm. But the other time Thanks was... for the crash report. <laughs> Is this maybe the crash we get from the floating stones or something? Welcome to Cube VR. I don't remember doing anything strange. except flying around. And even that was just normal. Hmm. Did you see the changes Croy did yet? Uh, no, I still have to um, look at his building. But yeah, what I wanted to say, I really um, also want to add some pillars here. Uh, maybe I will f figure out something for this waterfall. And I also had a, have a little idea for what I could do. So let's go to this monstrosity. <laughs> I am so glad that I moved to a different town because of today's date. I didn't want to live in my old apartment right now. Ooh! Oh! Quite removed the furnaces! This is so awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. I'm stuck. I can't get out of here. This is really nice. That was slow. <laughs> That's so cool. That's really awesome. Anything here? I'm not ashamed of myself, of flinging my arms around. 
It took me practice. That's really cool. It's sad that the furnace is vanished, <laughs> but that's so cool. Practice. That's really cool. Right, that's cool. Yes, good boy. Oh, now it's getting dark. Let's see how it looks at night. This must look so awesome. Okay, sad face. This looks like the hideout for a evil villain, like Demon King's castle or something. Oh, there's a crystal. Is there something in here? Not yet. Hmm. Oh, there are stairs here. Hmm. Yes, that's really Demon King level of architecture. That's really cool. <laughs> I really like this. Oh. Wait, I have to make it night again? I want to see this again. This looks pretty nice at night. Don't you think? That's really nice. Now oh, two crystals. <laughs> this is... I must say this is indeed pretty nice. There's a cave that I want stuck. So, this is something that I noticed in Palsma's stream. I forgot one pillar here. So this was uh, That really looks cool what Croy built here he did it off stream so no one saw it before yet. Ah That's cool. That's really cool. Limestone block, okay. Limestone was stone and green color. Let's see if I can find green color somewhere. Maybe in one of the chests, they should still be here. This is limestone. La 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 limestone. So. Me. So. Ah, no crystal. Mm. Good thing that I saw crystals lying here somewhere. Uh, here. Come here. So. There's not even a crystal in my hand. So, that's better. We. Okay. So nice. That's the one that I took. So all I have to do now is just 
make the cathedral stand on something? Yes, the cathedral looks great. I need to figure out where all of my tools are. So I don't have an X. X pickaxe, blue torch, sledgehammer. Okay. Get rid of the trees first. Ah. Then we get rid of this little thing here. I see. Do we have two shovels? Probably not. I will get one. Uh, And then swing them like this. If I swing them at the same time, they stick together, that's for sure. But just swinging them normally on two layers doesn't do anything. So probably it's a PlayStation wrecking issue. No? No, works fine for me. I think it's easier to just do upwards or downwards movement when removing a lot of dirt. Okay, if you manage to link the blades of the shovels into each other like this, then they do stick a bit together, as you can see. So it's not like they are magnetically going together. He is probably swinging his arms and by moving back, he lowers one of the shovels to the same level and then they stick into each other. So that's probably his problem. Yeah, if you put them together at first, it's just like putting them together. But Having the plates interlock with each other makes them like a bit sticky. Not really sticky, but it feels like they stick together. Because you can't push the plates through each other. Maybe that's what he was experiencing. So I had a sledgehammer somewhere.
removing all the dirt. This side, everything. Oh, there's also. Oh. Store. Hmm. Okay, now I'm done with the outer part. That's not good. So. so what I'm going to do today is fixing the ground and I had an idea for this place here. I wanted to place a little emblem on the floor, so probably right in front, so maybe here. There's a gecko! A cathedral gecko! Hello there, little guy! Welcome to our little church. Let's go inside. There's not much in here, I know. It looks a bit empty right now, but it will be nice, believe me. I just have to remove some trees, at least one. Put a lot of dirt everywhere to make it. Hello. Hello there, Cola. How are you? Please be our watchdog. Oh, they can go down? Why can you go down? Okay, I permit it. So we can remove this. This, come on. So, so, so yeah, I think having a little emblem here in the ground could be nice, or maybe even a little fountain. We also could make like two fountains, one to the right. And one to the left of the cathedral. So here's a lot of space. So, hmm. So where to place the emblem? More like here, or like in front of the entrance? Hmm. I would like to build it symmetrically right in front of the entrance, but this would look so stuffed. I'm not sure if it would look good. There's the doors. Ah, there's the door as well. Okay. 
But there are no windows. <sighs> the architect of this cathedral did a really sloppy job. <laughs> so, hmm. But what kind of emblem should I use? I was thinking of something like a cross. Would be fitting. Hmm. Maybe I should start with adding sand here. So the question is, should I use the creative menu to make all of the dirt? Or should I get it from somewhere? I could mine it. I just have to get rid of all of the stuff I have in my inventory. Which is quite a lot. I want to keep the grey panels. Because that's what I also want to use. That's what I wanted to use to make the, um, the emblem in the ground. Wait, wait, wait. I think I have an idea. I could make the fountain here. So I will place this waterfall a bit more to the wall. Have it go down. Then have a really big fountain here. Like like um, a half wing with a bit of elevation and stuff like this. To the left and right a little pillar and then I can have emblems on each side left and right yes yes that's a good idea that's a good idea I like this and I can make it more or less symmetrical doesn't have to be 100% so and for the crown should I just go with a simple cross? Maybe something like the cross up there. Then it would go a bit like... I oh know that's a shovel. A shovel would make this a bit harder. One, two, three. Okay. Good evening. Sorry for being late. Had to put my daughter to bed. Hello, Talsma. So, so far, I'm really impressed. Looks really nice. And you didn't see it yet, so I have to show you. I have to show you what Quoi made. This is awesome. I have to spoil you, sorry. But you have to see it for yourself. So, we all know that Quoi made this monstrosity here and once you go inside there was a big place with some furnaces and stuff and now look at this huge Lava magma, uh, magma, lava waterfall. This is so cool.
This looks so awesome. Oh wow, that is awesome. It really is. Oh. And I thought that I could make like an engraved emblem on each side of the cathedral. Like I started already. And I thought that I could make maybe something like this shaped cross on each side. I would have to put it a bit more here. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I should go with a cross or with something else. And here I think we could have a really nice big half circle fountain, a bit elevated. The water could go down on the wall down here into the fountain, have it illuminated with blue or white shimmer tiles. Then on each side we will put up some pillars and maybe a nice looking sandstone block. Maybe sandstone bricks. I will put some gold embroil on it and then it will look really nice. So fountain here and an emblem on, on each side of the cathedral in the ground. That's what I had in mind. And we can see the lighthouse from here which is, which is really nice. Can we see my boat? We can! Well, at least I can, you can't, because it's dark. <laughs> so I will probably have yeah, to... Yeah, sounds good, just experiment, I like your ideas. I also like my ideas, it's just that the execution sometimes is a bit poor. For now, I think it's easier to just remove the stones here all together. Make the emblem first and then put the stones back. bit more in this direction. So. And I would say we Okay. 
So like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. So. Then here, here, so Okay, uh, two. Oh, oops. No. So one, two, three. There's one more crystal on top of the cathedral. Well, I will get this crystal. This way I can't forget it. There it is. Ah. Oh. So. Good thing that I went above to see how it looks. Uh, maybe a bit more. So now we are here. Just make it completely Oops. symmetrical. This should be. S Let's see, this should be symmetrical. I think. Yeah, it doesn't. Does this violate anything? Like, is this any. Uh, more simple or so? I don't think so. I just had another idea. You know about the NASCAR lines? Seeing this just reminds me we could do something like this. Just randomly at some nope, point in the move. world. Just adding some NASCAR lines there. So that looks pretty nice. So I want to put something in the middle. A gold block? I have... I don't... I don't... I have... Hmm. I don't know if we used one of the Celtic blocks already. Make it shine. I don't... Uh, 
I want to keep it simple because sometimes you don't have to be extravagant to be flashy or something. Sometimes you can be noble and really cool by just being simple. So I want to place a Celtic cross in the middle, the Celtic cross block. So one of those. Ah, I think the Mayan wave. Uh, maybe that would be a bit. But here, something like the Great Tree. As a symbol of. Bit whale. I think I saw one of the blocks somewhere, in some building. Yeah, I have iron if I want to make it. I'm pretty sure I saw it somewhere. Probably somewhere in the castle. I can use one of the castle blocks. It's really nice to see how this little world grew with everything we did all together. One of the biggest achievements I would say is the ocean where Roy worked with me together to make this. Then this really nice lighthouse that Talsma made and even the dock behind it. This whole castle here is really awesome. And maybe we can come up with something to build up there. If Talsmo doesn't do anything. I think it grew a little bit over the last year. <laughs> Making this like a huge castle up there. Now that we can make spheres and pyramids and stuff, that's a lot easier. Being able to make spheres would have made it so much easier to make the zeppelin. Oh yeah, I forgot I was building on that bridge higher up. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's a bit more to do there. I really like how you um, decorated the roofs, like using those. Yeah, I really need to progress the castle above the market. And um, those additional blocks on the edge of the roof makes it look so much nicer. And I will use this for my rooftops as well. So I'm just going to copy your homework, <laughs> if that's okay. Because I really like this. It looks so much nicer than anything that I could do. So I want to do this as well. It's really nice that we can learn from each other and increase our building skills. And up Off we are. course together we know much. <laughs> Cubes together strong.
This will be my room. Ooh. I shouldn't have taken the blue pill. Oh, oh. Ah, yeah. Really nice. Really nice. Nice, 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 nice. So yeah, I came here because I wanted to the see Matrix what room, LOL. I can use for building. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I thought that we used some of those Celtic blocks here. Ah. Huh. Interesting. I was mistaken. My neighbor's making a lot of noise. Hmm. Hmm. Did we really not use any of them? You're all using the wood roof tiles by Ron Sockel. Hmm. And I am greatly mistaken. Interesting. <laughs> That was in the stairs in the castle up top. Ah. <laughs> I knew that I saw them somewhere. Ba ba bum ba dum ba dum ba dum. Up and up and up we go. There's a lot of desert. <laughs> it was really refreshing to see a lot of people claiming that there's no sand in their world. And then after they found it, they also gave the advice of just walking straight for 10 minutes. <laughs> because, yeah... You never find sand if you search for it, but once you found a desert, the desert is everywhere. The desert will find you. <laughs> and in the graveyard, Croy made we all forgot about. I think. Uh, no, I I know about the graveyard. It's here. I put some picture frames there with pictures that looks interesting there's the graveyard up top it was Maybe I can find what I searched for here. Yes. So we already used it, okay. So. The door is misplaced. Who did this? Did not remember that. I did this like a year ago, right after he made the cemetery. I can't use this one. Yeah, but I think this one is okay.
tree of life. Yeah. This looks interesting. Doesn't even look that natural. It's like someone copy pasted. Yeah, this is copy paste. Who did this? And why? And when? That's mysterious. Maybe there was a special alien here. Some extraterrestrial life form from the Netherlands. <laughs> SSSH, don't look up, you can see I messed with the island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a mysterious room here. What could be in there? What's this block? Stony pathway? It's one of my favorite blocks. Ah, that reminds me. One and a half year ago, I wanted to make a video about my most favorite custom blocks. I never did. I'm terrible. You probably noticed that I started a let's play for Vampire the Masquerade Justice. And as a big Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines fan, I really anticipated the game. And so far it's mm, mediocre at least. That's pretty nice. Maybe the next project after the cathedral should be uh, something at port then. It was okay, not great, not bad. Yeah, it's it's not a masterpiece, but it is decent. It's good. It's not bad. Like I said, it's not really good. It's not bad. It's just average. On the, it's, it's a good average it's not on the lower average it's slightly above so far i only played like one and a half two hours yet i mean you see that it's originally a quest game so some models are really low poly especially the reds they don't look so nice environment is okay -ish. it does have the slight look like it's um, a telltale game from the walking dead saints and sinners it has and a I am similar because i love vampires <laughs> yeah i also loved vampire the... when vampire the masquerade came out for pc i played it so much i almost played with every character class my first playthrough was with Brujar, then i used nosferatu then I used the uh, oh, the charming ones like Lecroy was. Even from here the cathedral looks nice. It's really massive. Maybe I should change how the roof here looks. That's not it looks so abrupt, it's not... And I need to add more decorations up here as well. But 
first things first. It's not good, it's great. Only 27, that's a bit... Uh, that, that might not be enough. Hmm. Why didn't I get enough blocks? I did collect all of them, didn't I? Do I have false stones? Yes. But I don't have dirt. Getting dirt here is not really a good idea. I don't have any torches. Hmm. Where could I get dirt from? Uh, if I remove a bit dirt here, no one will notice. be enough for one stack of black stones. I just have a deja vu. Did I make a lot of flagstones in my let's play? But right now I don't need flagstones. I made a lot of concrete. So why am I so sure to make flagstones. Huh, that's interesting. Interesting indeed. Huh. Maybe I saw a streamer making a lot of flagstones. Deep thoughts. <laughs> Yesterday, one of my viewers made a suggestion for me, and he was betting 1000 euro that if I would do ASMR, I could get like 10,000 subscribers in half a year. Here. Oh, 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 okay. And yeah, the flagstone was for concrete. That was the concrete. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. So, uh, stone. Do we have stone somewhere? Hmm. I can't find stone anywhere. Hmm. 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 Ah, yeah, the gravity pull in vampires is not really that... Responsive. Maybe I'm just a bit too spoiled because of how good they work in Cube VR. Oh 
no no stone anywhere. <laughs> the funny thing is, I really had a streamer being inside the cave, not finding any stone. And I was like, uh, dude, you are surrounded by stone. For some reason he thought that underneath the dirt would be not stone. <laughs> I only get 25 out of this? 28. That made me laugh too loud. <laughs> well, it's not his fault. Most people still think that this is Minecraft. So they come here assuming that everything works as they know that it should work. And then they get confused. So, so what should I use to fill this thing? I don't like the orientation of the tree. Hmm. Hmm. So what to fill this with? Then hmm. <laughs> stone? Or should I just fill it with the ray panel? I just saw I had the Celtic not still here. Nah, this doesn't look good, no. It need to be a different material in the middle. Maybe something white. Interesting way to type Panzerfaust. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should use a darker material. Because now it looks really slim. Now this look this look like outlines. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Ha. Oh. Problem is what the contrast ah. is good, but maybe a little darker indeed. Yeah, but the 
problem is, what kind of stone should I use? <laughs> hmm. Just a couple stone. Marble tiles? Grey concrete. The structure of the grey concrete is... Maybe it's not a bad idea. Let's try the beige block. Two white processed wood. Uh, two light processed wood. I fell down a tree. There should be a. Should be still there. So maybe there was light wood there. Hmm. Oh, it's not here anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe it unnoted because I went too far away. <laughs> we still have light process wood somewhere in our storage. I'm sure of it. Shop in time. Ah, no, not really. A <laughs> pong time. There was a whole JRPG surrounding the life of Japan. Japan was those Czech um, composer. And the JRPG was for PlayStation 3, had some really nice elements, like a light and shadow boost for enemies, but it was never really well received. Wait, 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 wait. It really is not okay. You know your classics. Now it's raining. Let's try those. Ah, that's actually wood. Ah. Ah, it doesn't look if. No, nope. Nope. Meh. Hmm. Two processed hmm. light wood. No, it doesn't work because the template block also uses the same recipe and I couldn't get the other to appear. So, I think Röhrensockel also made light grey concrete. What are Wall you stones. building? Um, 
I'm working on my cathedral and it already looks pretty decent. Right now I'm working on menu. And right now I'm just uh, making those um, symbols here and I'm just trying to figure out what I could use to fill up just empty spaces here. The light gray. And now we get text over it. Yeah, that's right. I have great carpet, <laughs> great carpet, but not great concrete. Hmm. Hmm. Something like dark blue. I'm going to cheat those blocks because I can't make light them right gray now. Concrete, it said. Yeah, but light gray is too light. I want to be it a bit heavier. <laughs> This looks good. The thing is, it looks a bit thin. I want it to be a bit thicker. Shimmer tiles. Nah, that's too bright. I like those, to be honest. Maybe I should just increase the middle middle stone something else also. Middle middle stone? Hmm. Now we sh <laughs> ah, But what? Yeah, the center. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Some light would be good. Maybe blue shimmer tile in the center. A blue one. Hmm. Yes. Let's clean up and 
Maybe I just need to increase the thickness of the marmor or the beige, whatever this is. If I make this like this here, two blocks thick, then maybe it can look a bit better. Yeah, this is good. Well, usually you don't lie. So usually the normal person walks here. Not everyone is a god. <laughs> so... Mm -hmm. I could try to make this on the other side like two blocks thick and then I can compare what looks better. But for now, let's see, it's one, two, three, four. White shimmer tile one, might fit two, a cathedral three. better though. Four by 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, the marmor is nice though, maybe use it also on the floor or some pillars inside, just thinking. I said 20, right? Yeah, we could use this a lot for pillars and stuff, that's for sure. Yes. So then I would say let's try again here, but this time with the double thickness. Altsma, could you please add the uh, beige block to the list of blocks in the um, documentary that we have for the other people so that they can see the block? I probably will forget this after the stream. Thanks. This time I will collect yes, the flex zones so that I don't have to craft them. So. Today I got some new shoes because the one that I had didn't have any profile anymore and I was more or less walking on my socks. Have a good play by. Sure, thanks for dropping by. Till next time. If I make it too thick, and I need to increase everything.
So this is one, two, three. One, two, three. So. Come on. <laughs> oh, nice, 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 nice. is added to jam board thank you so much i'm just going to get a bit more of the gold that is here our chest should be full pretty soon Ah, okay, it seems that that was all we had. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Still better than nothing. Do the same here. I just hope that it doesn't get too big. Well, when it comes to churches, there's nothing like too big or anything. <laughs> so, one, two, three. So. This. Oh. Oops. So. <laughs> okay, that's better. So. So now I just have five gray panels left <laughs> and a full inventory. Okay. So how do I make gray panels? They should be somewhere. Hmm. 
Ja. Irons ist das Sand. Ja, Iron, Sand and Coal. I should have sent in one of the chests. Could be a crystal somewhere here. I dropped it. Hmm. Hmm. That's strange. Hmm. That's really strange. I had some crystals lying around. Hmm. Guess I have to go search for some. I'm going to take two with me. Come here. So. I will probably use the creative menu for all of the dirt. <laughs> well, you could help me. Oh no. So. So. And four plush thermal tiles. Let's clean up a bit.
Ja. I have to clean up. Then we will check how this looks. I already think this will look better. One block missing top side. Yeah, I Thanks. think too wide is better. The smaller one just doesn't look nice. I mean, it looks nice, but not nice enough for me. Don't be in my way. It does look better indeed. Can I get both in view? I think I prefer one wide. Mm. Yeah, I hear you one and half would be nice. That's intended. Okay. Interesting design choice. I prefer too wide. <laughs> if I only see this one or only this one, I liked it too. But comparing them, the one looks better. <laughs> Why? Now the two white looks just... <laughs> Mix them up. Wait, I'm a YouTube content creator, so I could make one of those um, queries where you can vote for it. Let's use a vote system for this. I never used it before. Middle I can't. Thick with narrow ends.
I can't have it symmetrical like this. And if I make, wait, let me show you from above. Yeah, just so. noticed. Him. So, um, how about this? I make those parts three thick, three. Then I can place a white shimmer tile in the middle, and they are just super thick. And then the other one would be a bit thinner. I wouldn't fix the problem. I think I know how I could fix this. I'm just stretching this out by one. Maybe it just looks a bit chubby. So let's make it look a bit thinner. Try it out in the middle. Uh. Two thin ones on the side and a thick one in the middle would probably also look good. By making them figure, let me try on this one as well. I increased it by two. Don't forget to hydrate, I'll have another beer. So if we make it just bigger, bigger is better. Let's, let's do it on all four sides and look how it looks. Hydrating would be nice. I still need to get a new water bottle.
so. Here. Select all of the rubble. Come here. needs a metal pot so oh so. <laughs> eh? Ah, okay. Now it's just more or less the same as this one, but bigger. I think it looks better than before. I think it's good. Yup, now it's junky. That means we can agree that we keep it like this. Really bright. So everyone who is going in here is like, it's Actually, in the city of Halle an der Saale, where I went to university, we had a marketplace where they used really, really white, shiny stones for the whole floor and in summer every time the sun shone there you couldn't open your eyes because it was so blinding the
I think that's okay. Maybe we could even increase... No. No, we don't need to increase the blue shimmer stone. Shimmer tile. Shimmer tile or shimmer stone? Shimmer tile, okay. Hmm. Yeah, we will keep it like this. Or are there any objections? You could take in the heart one tile at the edges. But not sure it would work. It, I'm afraid I don't have it. getting thirsty right now so I really should drink something. I need to get myself a new water bottle. Maybe one of those gamer supplement bottles. They are pretty big so I could use them. So I'm going to drink something and yeah, if you like them, let me know, otherwise don't say anything, never ever again. I'm not sure, should I just copy paste this? Yeah, I think copy pasting is the fastest way. So yeah, I'm getting something to drink, so I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Till then. Copy pasting is so fast now with Albert's new creative menu. So oh, I'm back. I also got myself a new electric kettle to boil water. The old one that I had was like 20 years old and now I have one with glass so I can see inside and it also has an LED stripe to show me the temperature of the water that I boil. I can make water boil to 50 degrees up to 100 degrees Celsius, which is nice for green tea because you usually have it at 80 degrees. So, so 
So I just need to uh, locate the first block. So from the edge, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 blocks okay 19 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 19 by 17 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Was it 15? Oh, oh God. Do what? Seventeen. Okay. Thanks. Do. So. You can make cones. Nice. We can't copy paste yet. Ah, uh, no copying ISNT even a feature yet with Albert's mod. Oops. Yeah, that's what I was. I never used this. So we still have to use the good old fashioned way of doing it. With Coming in update mod. 3 111. I never made a cone. Now we can make almost everything. Now we just need an option to make the cones sideway. <laughs> and will I... there be a new Let's Play episode tomorrow? Yes. I recorded this on Wednesday. Why did I come here? Nice. You came here to get a CU of VR painter block, probably. Yes, thank you. Uh, what would I do without you?
good that I can read your thoughts and remind you. <laughs> yeah. Like I always suspected, you are a god. You can read minds. You can program. You can do everything. You're just awesome. The next thing that you can add to cube VR would be uh, alien geckos from outer space. They just descend when you are in the night for at least 10 real life minutes, then some alien geckos will just come flying down towards you. Hi Chibi, it's me Sev. Sev. Yeah. Hey, long time no see. I didn't expect you in a QPR stream. Oops. So, uh, one. Yeah, how are you? I'm long fine. Long time no talk. And. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers. That's awesome. Congratulations on this. So. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to make the paste. This is two, this is one. So I cut, this didn't cut. Weirdness. That's really weird. Mm. 
Maybe cut those T work try copy. Copy, st copy stone, huh? I will do this next time. Maybe something strange is happening. So now to the fun part. Adding a lot of dirt. Been a while since Maybe I last did this. <laughs> Just collecting all the dirt will take me like an hour or two or twenty. <laughs> Didn't I had a place where I removed dirt? See, you can't see where I dug up all of my dirt. That's good. That's environmental friendly. So... I'm going to remove some of the flagstones. We will not need them right now. ISNT, there may be infinite dirt already in the chests. Infinite, like um, this one glitched at some. People reported. You don't have that much dirt here. I just mean a lot. A lot is not enough. <laughs> well, that is how you want to play. You can gather it first or use the creative menu and just build. Ah, there's a spot here. Let's see. Maybe we have one or two chests full of dirt. We have more than plenty of dirt here everywhere. So once I'm done with the cathedral, every mountain is just bare stone. There's a bit of of dirt here. 
I usually do a hybrid depending on how much time I have. Usually I use the creative menu for doing um, pixel arts. But if I'm really building something like my Evangelion or here the stuff, I prefer to do it by hand. I mean, what about the other chest room? I don't think there's any dirt in there. This is like the special one with the gold and copper. Having dirt in there seems a bit of a waste. Wee. Not yet, indeed. We. Oh, nice. I'm salvaging. There's too many crystals everywhere. Ah. Isn't there someone else streaming as well? It's really nice to see so many nice. live streams. I intend to only put in real mind resources in treasure rooms. Really nice to see all of the new guys playing the game. So I think that that's good yet. Let's get the crystals. Maybe I should start here. Would be easier. Less to do. Aurelio was streaming when you started, but no more. Ah, okay. Sometimes he has someone who is reading the chat for him. So then it's actually pretty nice to talk with them. Otherwise, I just don't like quiet streamers. I mean, I'm pretty quiet when, while streaming sometimes. But at least I try to communicate with you guys. So having no interaction at all just feels a bit empty. I like when you try to communicate. <laughs> it's the fault that counts, not the result. <laughs> ah, wait, wait, wait. Here, I could actually just use the natural order. Just like this. You are quite talkative, so all good. Yeah, but sometimes I notice that I'm I become pretty quiet, especially if I try to concentrate. Ah, we just should have this on an even level. Oh. Oops. Yep. 
go just like this. Uh, oops. And a bit more like here. Still better than me, it is harder than it looks to make a flow during streaming. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. A lot of people think that streaming is actually just like normal playing and with some stupid trash talk in between. But it's actually really a lot of hard work. I know how exhausted I was after my first streams because it really is different. I mean, there are streamers who just play and be live with it. But usually you want to be a bit more interactive and you try to be uh, entertaining and stuff. So yeah, you have to keep in mind to talk about something, do stuff. And that's not really so easy. It's especially interesting to see uh, people who have like 10 years of YouTube experience with making normal videos and when they say they are really exhausted after live streaming that just shows how difficult it can be. For me it's not really that difficult anymore. It's really because I like to do it, so it's a lot more fun now. You think of so much little details and how you want to handle things and be neutral, I guess. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> if you say so. I never really put much thought into this, to be honest. Uh, I usually just try to be... Uh... Yeah, actually, I think I try to be neutral. But usually I only have to think about it when there's a specific topic arising. So in normal conversations, I don't have to think about being neutral anymore because you guys more or less know my opinion on specific stuff and that's okay. And yeah, you don't have to think about it that much if you get used to it. For example, when I was a bit younger or not so experienced with streaming, it was easy to swear and curse a lot. And I don't do this anymore. True. So I actually managed to change my speech pattern a little bit. And that's actually a good thing because you don't have to use aggressive and foul language to be a, a good person. The best thing that I still know is one of my former co-workers who was also a gamer, we played a lot together and he never used foul language. When he was cursing, he said stuff like, das ist Bockwurst. Which doesn't make any sense. It's like just saying that's sausage. And yeah, it was, it came really natural because that's just how he talked. And he actually changed his speech pattern because he became a father and he didn't want to curse and swear in front of his little daughter. And I think something similar happened to me with you guys. I just don't want to curse in front of you, so I started to change the way I talk. And it just became natural for me. It's not that I have to actively try to not do it anymore. I just don't do it. Or when I do it, I do it because I want to. <laughs> Getting dark. Oh. 
It is good to have values. That's for sure. And actually, um, not using any aggressive hard language in your everyday talk habits can also increase just the way you present yourself. That's something I never really cared much about because it was never really an issue. But after I started to have more and more interactions with customers and other people from other companies while doing all of the uh, commerce stuff, I noticed that a lot of people, especially my supervisors, are always impressed how well I can handle stuff. And they don't want anyone else in this position because they are afraid that other people couldn't handle the outside reputation of the company as well as I do. Sounds like I'm bragging, but that's not my intention. Um, but it, yeah, that's what my CEO said. And if he's saying this, then it must be true. <laughs> so yeah, having a reason to uh, change your speech pattern can improve your life. And that's actually also something that other streamers or influencers do as well. Mm, looks pretty good, I hope. So if you look back at how some YouTubers and Twitch streamers were interacting with their chat 10 years ago and now, you see that they all started to grow up and yeah. The quo up was also just like changing their voice pattern because they noticed they don't have to be this aggressive or using foul language anymore. Ah. That's the nice thing about life, you can always learn and improve. Yeah. I really hope that I, at some point, can become a really good person. Someone who is actually uh, kind-hearted and nice to others. Because I met a lot of people who put a lot of thought into the well-being of others for their own well-being and stuff and those are the nicest people I ever met and at some point I also want to become someone who is so open for others so yeah at some point I will be a really nice person maybe it will take a few years Right now I'm just making the foundation at how far I will have the dirt. Oops. Yeah, we need to have dirt here as well.
And here a little bit more. So I will put like a stone cliff here. Learning is one thing but sometimes it is nice to contemplate what you already have accomplished be proud of yourself. That is one of my greatest weaknesses. I can't do this. I I am um but what's the word? Uh I'm conscious of it. Conscious is not the right word for this, but yeah. What's the word? Come on. If you know of something, what's the word for it in English? So what I want to say is, I know that it's one of my weaknesses, but I just can't change it that easily. So let's just fill this up a little bit. I think I meant to say self-conscious. I think self-conscious. you mean. We can do it. Trust me. He became better in um, acknowledging my strengths. So I still remember when I started with YouTube videos and stuff like this. I had really, like, no self-esteem at all. It's all better now. I could maybe close up here and make this all, like, one big... Yeah, I think it's easier to just close here. Just need a crystal. I could get more crystals, there are still some lying around. Still have a little bit dirt left. Chop the trees and fill it out yet. The thing I'm most happy about is that you guys like the way I do my stuff and when you guys say that you like my videos and that they make you happy then that's actually something that I really enjoy. <laughs> so as long as you have fun I can have fun as well. So. Um, so from where to where should we do it? Just like from here?
So now we just have to go down from here. That is just natural you like someone or you move on you are likable. Thanks. Oops. Oh, that actually worked. Okay. Nice. So, here. Maybe so. Yeah. Then we go so. Goes here and here and here. Now I'm out of dirt. Just getting the dirt from here. No one will ever notice that there's dirt missing. I was actually asked what I will do for my 10,000 subscriber special if I would do a 48 hour stream and yeah 48 hours is a bit too much I'm too old to stay awake for so long <laughs> I don't think my old heart could endure this but yeah I never actually thought about the 10k special I will have my 2k special in two weeks because that's the only time where I have free time <laughs> because next week I still have school then I have two weeks free time where I have to concentrate on my studies then I have my written exams then I get my bachelor thesis then I get 30 days to make a whole book and when I'm doing my thesis, I can't actually stream anything. Because writing a whole book within 30 days is a bit hard. Even the process of um, making a book out of my digital paper will take three days. I talked with one of my former workplaces and they made me a really nice offer for three books. Because I have to publish not only one book, I have to publish three books. Every corrector wants to have his own book for some reason. So. Oops, this might have been a bit too much, so this is good. And yeah.
How far was I with my bridge hum I think I needed to finish to make a path to the tower I guess. I totally forgot about this. I am sorry I didn't saw this. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff going on over the last couple of weeks. I have to show you, you bridge. I was like, huh? What bridge? And then... Oh, that was something here. Yeah. I forgot also LOL. <laughs> Hopefully we get a nice view from here. It's really nice. We can't see my boat. But we can see the cathedral. Oh, and we can see the decoration that I made today. It looks pretty well from up here. It is kind of an experiment. Oops. So we can go through here. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. Well, lately I am so obsessed with rabbit hole by deco 42 i don't even know why it's like 10 months old but i only recently discovered it you used the digging mod shame on you <laughs> pretty nice so you want to connect it to a tower? Yep. So this is Ben's tower? So we get a nice view from up here. We can see the castle. The lighthouse. Van Emmer's tower, yes, I was trying to connect every build there is. I found some rainbow flower, rainbow flower, rainbow flower. I found some rainbow flower. 
Bonus. We. Huh? Was that a suicide deer? <laughs> you saw this as well, right? You saw this deer jumping down. <laughs> You okay? <laughs> In my German world, I have more than a whole chest of rainbow dye. Had to be Rudolph. <laughs> that reminds me. I should try to get some gold. I'm already streaming for more than two and a half hours. My revamp is almost full. Where's the mine? Huh? Hmm. Ah, there it is. Look in the marketplace where the cavatai has been dug out. No. I already found like three gold nuggets today, so if I don't find any gold now, it's not so bad. <laughs> Destroy the crystals! See, I wanted to check something. Okay. Ah, a stone brick. Are you still there? Uh, I just wanted to know, could the PlayStation VR 2 version also get a mining challenge? Or would the PlayStation just start to melt? If you mine too many blocks on it. question yeah because um, I think the mining challenge is a really nice workout and the PlayStation players are pretty competitive so if they see that they have a mining challenge that would be nice 
then I could see if there's anyone who could get close to our PC record, then I would have at least a reason to improve myself. I mean, it don't have to be cross-platform, but just having it in general would be nice. Let's see if I can find some gold. Okay. I did some calculations on how many blocks are in the PlayStation world and it was really impressive to see the numbers and how long it would take to actually mine everything. That just showed how big the PlayStation VR world actually is. That's quite nice. At some point I just need get a PlayStation VR for myself. I wish you a good weekend. I am going to chill a bit with some music. Have great one. Sure. Thanks for dropping by. Have a nice weekend. Till next time and stay healthy. Maybe I can get in contact with Pimax and get at least to test out the Crystal Super. That would be cool. Yet. My first VR headset had OLED display, but yeah, the OG Rift uh, doesn't hold a candle nowadays. It would be really nice to see what Pimax can do. I think the Primax um, Crystal Light is actually pretty useful. It doesn't have um, eye tracking, so no dynamic foveated rendering, so it's not for me. But if you want a high-end PC VR headset without breaking the bank, then it's a pretty good option.
so far no luck with any gold. But we can keep searching. At some point we will find something. I actually did notice that my slightly higher upload speed is actually working for me. <laughs> because now uploading a let's play only takes 20 minutes before it was like 30 minutes. It's not much, but it's something. The PS5 version doesn't he have the mining challenge since I thought that would be too hard to get through Sony's QA where no single frame drop is allowed. Ah, okay. Tony can be strange sometimes. It would be nice if they would put so much effort in the QA of other games. <laughs> Oh, I forgot it. The torch. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Stream again tomorrow in this world? Uh, probably not. Maybe. To be honest, I don't know how my day will end. I will have to change the tires of my car. So I will be at my parents' house for quite some time. So I might come home pretty late. If I manage to get home at a reasonable time, I will stream again. Otherwise not. I can't make promises yet. And I have to go to my parents' house for the tires because my um, storage space in the cellar or the basement is really tiny. I can't even fit my tires in there. And I am too lazy to um, carry the tires up six floors under the roof where my roof Storage. I can't wait to see the cathedral finished. 
Yeah, that will be so awesome. Ah, I forgot again to put the uh, decorations on the roof part. Yeah. Well, I guess I have to stream again tomorrow. <laughs> Was that gold? No, okay. If not tomorrow, you could maybe also do it someday in the week. Yeah, that could also work. I have more free time now. And what also is really nice, now over a whole week, I drove what I usually drove in one day, so I have to spend a lot less on than soul now, petroleum, whatever it's called, so it's really nice. I can save up money maybe. Yeah, it sounds like you made a great choice with that new job and new home. Yes. I also got a lot of money from my taxes. This year I made, or when I made my taxes this year, I calculated that I should get back 600 euro and I got more than 800 back, or made 700, sorry, 780. So yeah, that was surprisingly nice. I took this in the savings for the new PC. Ah. Hmm, no gold. Hmm. Well, then there's no gold here today. Nice. The end of the year, my credit for the car that I have, or the installments for my car will also be paid off. That means I will have no leasing, no rent, no anything. That means I can save up 500 euro more each month which should be enough to get me a nice PC. And every two years a vacation. So. Well, the next thing that I'm going to buy would be a, a PC chair, because sitting on my kitchen chair over a long period of time Hurts my butt. <laughs> Me. So. Then I would say that's it for today. Let's have one final look at the cathedral. I didn't do much on it today. Yet it sounds like Nvidia will announce the 5090 towards the end of the year. Yeah. I actually planned with September, but. A few months ago, you told me that it would not be an exact two-year circle. So, yeah, I maybe hope for March. Then this will also be a good time for the latest Intel CPU. Would be nice. Getting DDR5 RAM could also be pretty nice. Ah, here's the didn't notice this. I finally got something for the entrance. So yeah. The only thing that I need for the new PC would be a new headset. So maybe Valve would be so kind and finally announce something new. <laughs>
really nice. So, yeah. So, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thanks for swapping by. And till next time, probably tomorrow. So, yeah, till then, stay healthy. Bye and good night.